Welcome to my uh, Witcher 1 neutral playthrough. Basically, this is going to be the playthrough that I'm going to try to follow as closely as I can to the books. Um, I haven't read every single book yet, but I've at least read one or two so far. Get the general idea of his character, at least for the first game. I'll have him finished up reading before I play through it on the second game. Because that the second game has like more decisions, I feel like, and I, I need to like re refine the character at that point. With this one, there's just basically there's neutral paths. Side quest, there's really no choices, it's just, you know, go kill these things that he would do anyway. Like, he's a witcher, so he's gonna go out and hunt monsters. So that's a no go, uh, no brainer. Um, not gonna be doing gambling. Uh, the little bit, it's, it's, I, I tried to create re a thread on Reddit, and people were talking about it. And it's just, it seems like he did some gambling. I didn't notice any of the parts I've read. Like, it usually was just secondary, and it wasn't really. When something urge was going on, and I feel like in both Witcher One, especially Witcher Two, Witcher Two is not going to sit around gambling when all that shit is happening. So I'm going to avoid that. Fist fights I'm going to avoid. I don't know how high end to for Witcher Three because there's that card game. Probably avoid it as well, depending. Because I again, I, yeah, because he's going to be he has that important story stuff to try to figure out. It's probably more important than Witcher Two for him. So. He would again probably wouldn't stop to gamble, but uh, besides that, uh, I'm gonna be an alchemy focused character. I'm gonna be playing through it on easy. I've done hard for good, normal for um, evil, and easy for the regular one. Kind of just want to speed through it, but also just play through the different difficulties. Um, said so alchemy for Witcher One and Witcher Two. And it's not really gonna be a commentary playthrough. Uh, I'm just doing this initially so I can introduce it. It's basically just going to be my decisions. It's not going to be like a full playthrough either. I mean, it, it is going to be a full playthrough of the game, but not like a normal playthrough. Excuse me, it's going to be like my evil playthrough. So, and where I just show the decisions and how they affect, or any story around the decisions I make. I'm actually kind of interesting or interested to see, because there's a lot of like stuff in the game where you either choose uh, The Order or Tell, and those people show up at that point so if you're going neutral I wonder do they just not show up do they get pissed off do you get some other character thrown in there that's just there because you chose neutral should be interesting to see at the very least anyway I'm gonna continue from here and hope you enjoy The northern kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering what had happened to the witchers? The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year, 1270. Five years after the Great War. Everything's all right. I've no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave.
We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Kaer Morin. We're home. Leo, get Triss. Your time nears its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you were important. Geralt, we go. I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kaer Morin. Worked. Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Wait for the rest. He's alone. The professor promised 50 orange for every freak we kill. He's mine. Vesemir, we got company. I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the witches? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back 
back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. We're cut off. The stairs are blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child, it didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. I'll handle the Frightener with Vesemir. I'm going then. You can't fight for us all. I'm going with you. That's nice, Eskel, but I'm teleporting to your lab. Savola is mentally connected to the other mage. I'll use him as a beacon, and I could lose you along the way. Be careful. I'm a big girl. I'll manage. Geralt, this Tawny Owl potion restores endurance. If there's a fight, hit the bell and cauldrons with the Ard. We need noise. I want them to hear us in Vizima. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Watch out! 